all right what we have here is a intel model uh db 9700 and um what we're going to do is uh turn it on see what happens so we've got the fans we've got the lights uh let's see what happens here on the external we have external and it goes to uh no operating system found uh, mainly because it doesn't have a uh hard drive on it but that's to be expected we're gonna crank it up in the bios see what happens so as we have it in the bios here you can see the uh, lines on the screen those lines are uh, saying that it needs to be reflowed uh, that's what they call artifacting so what we'll do is uh, take this machine and uh, put it on the heater and uh, reflow all these uh, top side chipsets on there and uh, just make sure everything turns out okay we have one two three yeah we got three chipsets right there that we need to work on so after we reply those chipsets we'll uh, see what happens okay one thing that we noticed as we're taking this system apart is uh, the fact that it has uh, quite a bit of uh, debris in the fans or in the fins for this heatsink so what we're going to do is uh, clean this all out we're going to actually uh, take this down and um, as part of our normal cleaning we take this off and uh, clean this and then we're going to take these and uh, clean this in actual uh, rubbing alcohol to make sure everything comes out clean but then uh, we're going to reflow that and reflow these as we typically do with all these systems but that's one thing that you have to make certain is that you clean these uh, the debris out of these fins uh, because it can actually cause the system to uh, raise the temperature anywhere from 2 to 5 degrees and cause the chipsets to fail now we're reflowing our board and uh, what we're going to do is go from this chipset to the VRAMs and reflow them like we typically do then move to this coprocessor and then move to this low level uh, processor here so we'll go here 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 like that and then over here then down here and uh, that'll be done so what we're going to do is uh, let this board reflow itself and reflow everything and then we'll uh, put it to test and see if our uh, stuff actually took and go from there okay here's a little quick thing since we've reflowed uh, this board um, what's going to happen is this right here is actually a better heat sink um, when you're looking to purchase heat sinks uh, for you know the DV9700s for the Intel models this would be the heat sink that I would go for it has a direct copper instead of aluminum uh, uh, pad right here and this would be something that I would go for in this system uh, would be something like this so when you're going to buy one that's just the difference that you need to keep in mind is uh, this will this one has copper in it and this one doesn't and that would be one that I would actually if I had my system torn apart I would upgrade to that um, again that's just something to keep in mind when you're going to do it but what we're going to do is uh, take and clean this board and then we're going to uh, put our compounds on it and put it back together and crank it up and see what happens and go from there alright so what we're going to do is turn this system on we've put the two memory sticks in it uh, that came with it two two gig sticks 
and we noticed that one of them was actually kind of uh, hanging out so what we're going to do is turn this on we got our lights and we should get our fan here in a second there it goes now we're going to see if it uh, turns on there we go we got it turned on and everything so uh, what we're going to do is try to uh, go into the BIOS and start our burn in uh, for this board so what we're doing is we're starting to burn in and uh, we'll go from there and uh, we'll come back in two hours and see if it actually worked or not but uh, pretty common situation we'll let it uh, let it sit there and go and um, see what happens we don't see any lines on the screen we don't see any artifacting uh, we don't see any patterns across here so we know that the reflow took but we'll let's see if it lasts for the uh, two hours and then go from there so now we've uh, checked our motherboard and the display seems perfectly fine it's ran for about two hours um, so we're gonna say that it's complete um, for this one we'll actually let it run longer uh, probably let it run for quite a while actually because we don't have anything else to jump onto and get finished so we're going to let this one do its thing and uh, see if it doesn't develop any lines or anything like that but we'll let it do what it's going to do and we'll just say that it's finished for right now and just for an experiment I guess we'll see what happens with it later on so we've uh, continued to run our board uh, from last night and as you can tell, we run it for about 10 hours and still no lines. So we left it run. It's a pretty good indicator that after the two hour mark, it's not going to uh, mess up like that. So, of course, this doesn't include stress and load, but uh, pretty plainly, we're seeing that it's, it's still running. No lines, no artifacting, no nothing, and it's been 10 hours. So. We're going to call this one finished and then move on to the next one.